Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking an acoustic heat not burn cigarette, which I am very excited to do. Instead of using electricity like pretty much every single heat not burn cigarette on the market today, these instead use the flame from a lighter to heat the tobacco. How does that work? Well, I'll go ahead and explain in just a moment after I explain what a heat not burn cigarette actually is. As if you don't know what a heat not burn cigarette is, well, this might get a little bit confusing. So, what is a heat not burn cigarette? Well, it is a type of cigarette that is exactly as it sounds like in all honesty. Instead of the tobacco being burned like in a traditional cigarette, the tobacco is heated like in an oven. And then once the tobacco is heated, the tobacco releases aerosols, which you can then inhale to get the nicotine you want. A comparable product to a heat not burn cigarette on the market today is something like, let's say, a dry herb vaporizer. But that is pretty much what a heat not burn cigarette is. So how do these cigarettes heat the tobacco if they don't use electricity, like heat not burn cigarettes, like let's say Iquos, Glow, Plume, Lil, literally any heat not burn cigarette on the market today. Well, each and every single one of the 20 cigarettes inside this pack right here has a carbon tip on the end of it. That carbon tip is then wrapped in glass fibers, and when you light that carbon tip with a lighter, it heats up the carbon, which then heats up a metal tube on the inside of the cigarette, which then heats up the tobacco, which then releases aerosols that you can then inhale to get the nicotine you want. It is essentially a different way of getting to the same end result as heat not burn cigarettes provide today. And it is not an understatement to say that this is the predecessor to modern heat not burn cigarettes. However, this is not the first ever heat not burn cigarette. This title, that, that title, not this title, that title goes to Premier Cigarettes, which were first introduced in the United States by R.J. Reynolds in 1988. They were a complete sales failure. Com consumers hated them, and so they were taken off the market a year later in 1989. And then those problems were fixed to a degree, and the concept was reintroduced as Eclipse in 1994. Then, from 1994 onwards, Eclipse maintained a generally niche sort of market segment kind of thing. They never really got particularly popular, but even though they didn't ever really get super popular, they were made up until 2014, or for 20 years, which is absolutely crazy. So, these are the second ever heat not burn cigarette to have been introduced onto any market in the world. They're also the longest running brand of heat not burn cigarettes to have ever been made. And they also predate the first ever heat not burn cigarette that was electric by three years. The first ever electronic heat not burn cigarette was produced by Philip Morris in 1997. And so since these were first introduced in 1994, they predate the first ever electronic heat not burn cigarette by three years. That's pretty crazy if I do say so myself. It is not an understatement to say that these are the predecessor to modern heat not burn cigarettes as we know them today. Pretty cool stuff if I do say so myself. But as said previously, these were discontinued in 2014 after a 20 year production run. It's been just about 10 years since 2014 now. And so as such, finding a pack of these is pretty difficult. But thankfully, last year, one of the shops I like to go to in my local area had some for whatever reason. And so I grabbed a pack, I gave them a review, and I let y'all know what I think, what, what, what I thought of them. But when I gave these a review just about a year ago now, I had no comparison for them. I had never tried a modern heat not burn cigarette like Iquos, Glow, or Plume, or anything like that kind of thing. And so as such, I didn't really know what to think of them. I didn't really enjoy them very much kind of thing, but I didn't know if that was just how heat not burn cigarettes were. I've kind of forgotten the details of how I felt about these cigarettes right here. And so now that I've had the opportunity to actually try a real modern electronic heat not burn cigarette, I'm very excited to find out how the predecessor to pretty much every single modern heat not burn cigarette um, lines up against 
well, modern heat not burn cigarettes, I'm looking forward to seeing how these are in the modern era. Or are they something that should just be left in the 1990s? Kind of thinking it's probably something that should be left in the 1990s. I really don't remember having a super positive experience. But at the same time, I hadn't ever tried a modern heat not burn cigarette up until literally very recently kind of thing. Just a couple months ago kind of thing. And so as such, I'm looking forward to finding out um, just how good or just how bad these actually are. But uh, I, think I, I think that's everything I wanted to say for the intro. So now, without further ado, I do think it is time for me to go ahead and get one of my Eclipse Menthol Heat Not Burn Cigarettes all out. And it's time for me to go ahead and show off how they actually look like. And while Heat Not Burn Cigarettes do generally look a little bit weird when compared to traditional cigarettes, these definitely look a little bit weirder than your average Heat Not Burn Cigarette, that is for sure. But at a glance, it looks pretty normal. We can just see there's a white filter up here with one line of perforation, two green lines right here, and then it just says Eclipse right there in a pretty nice font, if I do say so myself. Then that paper just continues down and goes into another paper. Okay, that's pretty normal. And then it goes into an another paper right here, which then goes into a another paper right here. That's pretty weird now, isn't it? And then we take a look at the filter and there's a hole in the filter, okay. Okay, yeah, holes and filters kind of thing. That's not that's not too weird. We can see the tobacco through the filter. That's not too weird. I mean, like flow filters, those are a thing kind of thing. Flow filters have been a thing for a very long time. That's not too weird kind of thing. But when we take a look at this, we're like, what the hell is going on kind of thing? There's no tobacco right here. There's no filter. Some heat not burn cigarettes made today have filters on the end of them to prevent you from just smoking them without the device. But this doesn't have a filter on the end of it, nor does it have a piece of tobacco on the end of it or anything like that kind of thing. It has, well, as I previously said, a carbon tip wrapped in glass fibers on the end of it, which I'm going to have to light up with my lighter. But before I go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up, I do real quick want to just go ahead and go over how you actually get an Eclipse all lit up. In every single pack of Eclipses, they included a very nice little card which talked about how to use it, which is very useful if I do say so myself, because it's definitely a, uh, it's definitely a very um, different concept. That is for sure, and it especially was a very different concept when it was first introduced in 1994. So on this side, we can just see it just says Eclipse, and then it just says unique taste experience right there. It just says that Eclipse primarily heats tobacco, producing a truly unique taste. I don't know about that one. Um, it says regular gentle puffs give the best flavor. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I tend to puff pretty quickly, so I'm going to have to just make sure I give it regular puffs and everything like that kind of thing. It says puff too hard and the flavor may become harsh. And then it just says when you, uh, when you start getting less smoke, you'll know your Eclipse is just about finished. Okay, so it works like a normal electronic heat not burn cigarette. That's how modern heat not burn cigarettes work. And then it just says after that, uh, set down in an ashtray and let cool. But doesn't explain how to actually light the Eclipse all up. To find that out, we have to go to the other side. And where it says, so oh, I almost dropped that on the ground. That would have been bad. Where it says lighting Eclipse right here. And here's the instruction. So it just says, uh, you light Eclipse very much like a cigar. Use a lighter rather than a match. And then it just says, keep the flame touching the tip while you take four long, easy puffs. When fully lit, the entire tip will glow red. And then once smoked, do not try to relight. So essentially the same thing as a heat not burn cigarette. You cannot relight them once they're already used kind of thing, or I suppose technically you can, but you're not really supposed to kind of thing. And it just says, um, yep, it's pretty much just a little bit different than a normal heat not burn cigarette, but it just gives you a warm up period kind of thing, just like a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette. You have to take four easy puffs. That's like what, 10 seconds kind of thing. It needs a little bit of a warm up period, just like a normal heat not burn cigarette that is electric rather than being acoustic like these cigarettes right here. And then under that, it just has a little bit of a line and it says Eclipse right there. And it just says questions, comments, has a phone number. And it just says www.eclipse.rjrt.com. That website, I believe I checked it, is now gone. It's no longer up, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, I'm gonna have to, uh, I think you can use the Wayback Machine to see it though, which is pretty cool. It just says restricted to legal age smokers. And then it says copyright 2014, uh, RJRT, uh, uh, PTD uh, in the United States. I think that means like patent pending or something. I'm not exactly sure. 
and then he just has some number, and then it just says cigarettes right there. Notice they're not actually calling these heat not burn cigarettes. They're still calling them cigarettes. These were indeed marketed as cigarettes, and they were marketed as being an alternative to traditional smoking, not as a heat not burn cigarette like heat not burn cigarettes are today. Heat not burn cigarettes are marketed both as an alternative to traditional smoking and as a heat not burn cigarette, whereas this was simply just are marketed as being an alternative to traditional smoking, not really as a heat not burn cigarette. But at the same time, when Eclipse was first introduced, the term heat not burn cigarette wasn't really super popular, hadn't really been coined yet, and so as such, it does make sense why these are simply referred to on the packaging um, as cigarettes rather than heat not burn cigarettes. But they also probably did that for regulation purposes because people would be like, what the hell is a heat not burn cigarette? Does this really count as a real cigarette kind of thing? And they wanted people to make sure that they, they, they wanted to make sure that that question never arose kind of thing. Um, pretty cool stuff, if I do say so myself. And um, I certainly am very, very, very excited to give one of the last acoustic cigarettes that was ever made a smoke in today's video. I don't know if a, an acoustic cigarette will ever come back in the future. For all I know, maybe they make a comeback. I kind of doubt that in all honesty, but hey, maybe they will. The last ever heat not burn cigarette that was acoustic to have ever been made, though, was literally just a rebrand of Eclipse. It was called Revo, and it was introduced in 2015, right after the discontinuation of Eclipse, taken off the market the same year because it did so poorly. But yeah, these are essentially the, uh, the, these are essentially the last real acoustic heat not burn cigarette to have ever been made um and if you are not just saying essentially they are the second to last heat not burn uh acoustic cigarette to have ever been made and they are the second acoustic uh heat not burn cigarette to have ever been produced as well um pr pretty cool if i do uh, i guess they're the second heat not burn cigarette to have ever been made in a couple different ways kind of thing pretty cool stuff if i do say so myself um the clouds though are worrying me just a little bit i will admit the clouds are worrying me just a little bit do i want to go find some shelter real quick i am kind of tempted there's really nowhere around here though there's really nowhere around here for me to find any shelter i ain't gonna lie i thankfully i haven't gotten this lit up quite yet but uh, i want to go ahead and get it lit up i am a little bit worried it's going to start raining in just a moment but i think i might just commit to going ahead and getting this all lit up so without further ado let's go ahead and get one of my Eclipse menthol acoustic heat not burn cigarettes all lit up and go ahead and find out how it is when compared to modern heat not burn devices such as Iquos, Glow, and Plume. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this all lit up following the instructions. So I gotta just put the lighter just like that and take four easy long puffs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give it a go. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Right, there we go. The tip is glowing a little bit red hot. Not super much by any means. There we go. Much better, you know what I'm saying? Much better. And right off the bat, it's definitely a little bit different than normal heat not burn cigarettes. I say normal heat not burn cigarettes. This used to be the normal heat not burn cigarette. It's a little bit different than modern heat not burn cigarettes. Let me just put it that way. Real quick though, I want to go ahead and grab myself a little bit of a screenshot. And wow, that gets harsh if you just puff away and puff away and puff away and puff away as I did. Wow, that definitely does get a little bit harsh. That is for sure. I'd have to say right off the bat though, it definitely comes off much more like a normal cigarette rather than a heat not burn cigarette. And oh my goodness, it is starting to rain, y'all. It is starting to rain. Let's just go ahead and move real quick. Oh my goodness. It is starting, y'all. All right, I'm under a tree right now. Hopefully this will work. I don't know. I just hope it will. We'll find out because it's starting to pour. Wow, it came on all of a sudden. All right. Oh, man. Damn. So, right off the bat, though, I definitely have to say the smoke from... This cigarette right here comes off a lot more cool than a 
heat not burn cigarette does if you smoke it out of like a, a glow or an iQOS or something like that kind of thing. The smoke comes off a lot more cool. It comes off a lot more like a, a cigarette than a heat not burn cigarette in the modern era kind of thing, which is a little bit odd if I do say so myself. And as well, the smoke is definitely a little bit, I'd have to say the smoke is definitely a little bit less um, sort of um, cotton mouth causing kind of thing. Uh, for me at least, a lot of the time, heat not burn cigarettes cause me to get dry mouth kind of thing. And this cigarette does not cause that nearly as much, which is quite interesting if I do say so myself. I'd have to say, taste-wise, you definitely get I mean, like, these are a menthol kind of thing. It's not, I haven't tried a menthol electronic heat not burn cigarette yet, so I don't know exactly how this is gonna line up against menthol electronic heat not burn cigarettes, but the taste does come off a little bit lemony, which is something that I've noticed from a lot of heat not burn cigarettes as well that are electronic, which is something that is a little bit odd if I do say so myself. So the taste like that is very similar, interesting, but at the same time, I'm getting a little bit of menthol in there as well. And the smoke, when you're exhaling and you get a little bit on your lip, comes off almost as like steamy or watery. That is very, very, very different, if I do say so myself. That is very odd. Very interesting. Very interesting. Huh. That is definitely quite different. But just like a normal heat not burn cigarette, we can see it's not burning kind of thing. It is heating like an oven rather than being burned like a normal traditional cigarette. Although there is a little bit burning right here kind of thing and there's some paper right here and everything like that. But either way, still pretty cool if I do say so myself. But you know, I'd have to say overall, the Eclipse comes off a lot more like a traditional cigarette than an electronic heat not burn cigarette or at least any electronic heat not burn cigarettes that I've tried so far. I've only ever tried electronic heat not burn cigarettes from iQOS and Glow, uh, not Glow, sorry, Plume so far. And so as such, I don't have the best comparison, but I do have a better comparison than not. I'd also have to say, you get significantly more smoke from this cigarette right here than you do from an electronic heat not burn cigarette. Electronic heat not burn cigarettes are not known for their body by any means. They are not known for giving you a lot of smoke. This definitely gives you a lot of smoke for what it is, which is quite surprising. Now that I've tried a bunch of other heat not burn cigarettes kind of thing, I'm just impressed at how much smoke I actually get from this cigarette right here. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But as I continue smoking, I'm definitely noticing a different harshness in the back of my throat than I get from cigarettes. It's still just a very nice little bit of a harshness in the back of my throat kind of thing, but it's more like a harshness from dryness than it is from actual roughness from the smoke kind of thing. And so in that way, it definitely comes off a lot more like a traditional, um, not traditional, sorry, this is the tradition. I'm getting my words all jumbled up. The rain is definitely messing with my thought process right now, that is for sure. Uh, in that way, it definitely comes off a lot like a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette. Very, very, very interesting if I do say so myself. I'm not sure how much there really is left. I'm still getting a decent amount of smoke. But yeah, it definitely, in my opinion, comes off a lot less dry than a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette. The taste though, you still do get a little bit of a, like a sort of like lemon-like taste. I don't know if that's just flavoring or something like that used in um, heat not burn cigarettes. Um, in general kind of thing, or just in modern ones or something like that. But I'm also, I also feel like I'm getting a little bit of like a lemon-like taste along with the menthol as well kind of thing. But in general, the smoke is definitely a little bit less dry, still dry though. I'm getting that lemon-like taste. The body is a little bit bigger. It comes off a little bit more like a traditional cigarette than a modern heat not cigarette, which is a little bit interesting. Definitely a little bit different than a heat not burn cigarette from today, but not bad when compared to modern heat not burn cigarettes, I will admit.
And I think it's done. I think it's all done. How hot is this? It is not at all hot, so I'm pretty sure this is all done. I think I might have one of the issues I have with Eclipse. I did smoke a couple of the cigarettes after my review. Um, one of the issues I have with Eclipse is that if you don't take a puff for a little bit kind of thing, it kind of goes out and then you can't relight it again kind of thing. I think that's exactly what happened, I will admit. It is what it is kind of thing. I think I answered what I wanted to answer in today's video, uh, which was what the differences are between a acoustic heat not burn cigarette. Um, whoa. Wow. I just saw the lightning strike. It literally just struck like right over there kind of thing. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy, y'all. Um, but I think I've answered what I wanted to answer in today's video, which is what the differences are between an acoustic heat not burn cigarette and a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette. It seems like it's going to go ahead and storm in just a minute, even more so than it's already been. So I do think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts and I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I certainly uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Overall, as said, this definitely comes off more like a normal cigarette than a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette. The uh, smoke coming off of it was definitely a lot less dry. Still dry though, just less dry. I'd have to say the taste still had a little bit of like a lemon-like taste that I've gotten from a lot of full flavored heat not burn cigarettes. And I definitely have to say as well that the smoke was definitely a lot more uh, potent than heat not burn cigarettes used with an electronic device. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. Um, if you guys have enjoyed watching today's video, of course, please make sure to well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, thank you so much for watching y'all to the next one. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. And of course, let me know what y'all's thoughts are on both this video and this cigarette as a concept as a whole. To the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Hey, Jacob after the video Jones here. I had some other things I wanted to mention. I definitely have to say, while I was saying during the video that the uh, Eclipse menthol heat not burn cigarettes were much more similar to uh, normal cigarettes than to modern electronic heat not burn cigarettes. Um, and while that is true, it's not completely true kind of thing. They don't come off exactly like a normal cigarette that is for sure. The smoke definitely comes off a little bit different. It's kind of like a halfway point in between a traditional cigarette and a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette, which is very interesting if I do say so myself. It's not only the halfway point in history, but it's also a halfway point in actual smoking and usage in general kind of thing, which is just pretty cool if I do say so myself. Um, the smoke definitely was a lot less dry and you got a lot more smoke from it as well. And one other thing that I forgot to mention was that um, the buzz from a from the Eclipse menthol heat not burn cigarettes um, didn't quite come off like the buzz from a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette either. It really did come off like half a traditional cigarette and half a modern electronic heat not burn cigarette. It didn't quite come off as one or the other, which was very, very, very interesting if I do say so myself. There's, those are some things that I wanted to go ahead and just quickly mention though. I was trying to just end the video very quickly to make sure I didn't get caught in the rain and everything like that kind of thing. I didn't want my rare cigarettes to get, uh, to get damaged. That is for sure. Um, thankfully it's a little bit after the rain now and it's all cleared up and everything like that so i'm not too worried about that now but those are just some things i wanted to go ahead and mention i hope that could clarify some things and um yeah oh yeah so i almost forgot to answer the question i posed right before i got my acoustic heat not burn cigarette all lit up so do i think that acoustic heat not burn cigarettes are better left in the past or do i think that they would be pretty good in the modern era as well i really enjoyed smoking the Eclipse menthol heat not burn cigarette that I did in today's video. I think they're a really cool concept, but I enjoyed smoking it because it's something that you don't see anymore today. I enjoyed smoking it because of the novelty of it. It's not something I would smoke on a routine basis. And if I was gonna smoke a heat not burn cigarette on a routine basis, I would frankly put much rather smoke an electronic heat not burn cigarette. They might not be able to be relit properly kind of thing, but they don't go out if you don't puff them for 30 seconds kind of thing. They don't just randomly go out and stuff like that kind of thing. I like the taste of Eclipse more than I like some of the heat not burn cigarettes I've tried. I like the body more kind of thing, but usage wise, electronic heat not burn cigarettes are just better. So while I do think it would be really cool if the concept of acoustic heat not burn cigarettes made a revival, 
I don't think it's something that would do well sales-wise, for one, and it's not something that I would use myself, just simply because, usage-wise, electronic heat number and cigarettes are better. Hope that could answer that question. Thank you very much for watching, y'all.